Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I'm joined with the lovely Byron. It sounds like you're about to deliver some very sad news. <laughs> well, Hello everyone. Um, these aren't actually know. confessions, Byron. These is actually your eviction notice. Oh. You've got one month left. Today I'm joined with Byron Langley, my roommate and fellow friend. And today we are going through a load of your confessions that you sent in to us. We've been through and we found some good ones. We thought we can't just leave them lying on the old servers on the internet, can we? So here we go. These are some confessions that you guys at home have sent in to us this week in the hope that we read them out on the internet and expose you all and react to your confessions. This was the first video I ever did with you. It was. Do you remember last time? Your hair in the last video. It had grown it was way long. beyond I could control. That's it was sure. long. Let's have a look at it. It's just uh, no one wants yes. to see that. Oh, oh look Rewind! Oh, gosh, come back to the end. <laughs> oh, that was, <sighs> that was a barn and a half. Saying that, I reckon the mine's the longest it's been in a long time. Look, Pretty long. I've got sideburns. Looking almost. at it now, I can confirm yeah. that it has length. You do have sideburns. You have... People can hold on to them and ride me like a motorbike. You know what you got to do next? You no. shave them in the shape of a star, and then you have star burns. Star burns. We could release an album like Weekend. I'm a mother starburn. Ah, oh, ah, hey, ah, oh, hey. Anyway. Right. No cutting your hair, this is happening. We digress. Right, Byron, you ready for this? I'm ready. The first one. On this one comes in from Sam, who's given their name, so Sam. Come on, Sam. Let's find out what Sam's done. This one's a bit sexual. Okay, straight in with it. So maybe don't <laughs> read it out or whatever. I don't know. It's too late, Sam. I just said your name out in public. It also ruins the whole point of the exercise. Yeah, the whole idea is that you send it in anonymously so we can then judge you judge you badly without actually causing offense too much because we're not actually giving away you, your actual identity and we can also get some entertainment out of it we're trying to get entertainment out of your problems at home sounds weird <laughs> just a little bit of exploitation there's not <laughs> enough fit in the family world family friendly exploitation exactly yeah. anyway sam she's now or he's now 24 when i was 12 i was just learning the ways of the world and in this story let's say i was discovering myself for the first time. Hmm, that's very ambiguous, but I think... Do you know what that means? I know what it could mean. Jeez. Okay, so he or she discovering himself for the first time. She plays the bets now on whether we think it's a girl or a boy. 12 years old, I'm gonna say... Girl? I think girls discover themselves earlier than boys do. That's yeah. my prediction anyway. I mean, boys. I haven't discussed this profusely with my friends, but going from personal experience, I'm guessing it's probably a girl. Yeah. Thinking back to 12-year-old Byron. Let's find out. I was in the lounge because no one was in the house. That's risk. It's a bold move. The going for it in the lounge. Public. Very bold move. Fair play to you. Oh, no one except for our iguana, Christoph, who was in his vivarium at the other end of the lounge. <laughs> Why am I envisioning something really, really wrong? Let, that's unfair on the iguana. So I continued to discover myself and just as discovering myself ended at the exact same time Christoph farted. This confused the 12 year old me a lot. For a short while I wondered if lizards always fart when the owners have an orgasm. So this is like E.T. and Elliot like when E.T. starts to get poorly <laughs> no when Elliot gets poorly or when E.T. gets poorly it's like a chain reaction and the flowers die. When you orgasm your lizard farts. <laughs> do lizards, do, do iguanas even fart? That's Surely not. Wondering. Do they even have a bum? They've got a huge tail there. How do they yeah. do? I've never seen an iguana arsehole have you? Not that I can think of now. I mean, maybe potentially, but not off the top of my head. I've met a lot of iguanas and I've met a lot of arseholes, but I've never seen the two combined. Combined. Ske it's true. Skeptical. Skeptic. So Informative and skeptical. judgmental. I'm pretty sure this threw me off my sex game, and I think it's the reason why I only lost my virginity last year. Well, because you only need iguanas in the room. <laughs> so, she's about to get down into it. She's like, wait, the there's, iguana. There's no re reptiles in here, is there? <laughs> Check it under the bed. Any reptiles? No. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. This one's uh, anonymous. Right, someone who actually or well, their name could be anonymous. We can't just we can't just assume things anymore. Never assume. It makes an ass of you and me. Get it? Um, the, the word ass you, you me, me spells. Or assume me. What if you yeah. pronounce So anonymous? Strange name, but Yo yo Jojo. Yo. As a young kid, whenever I cat did something naughty, I would do a little bit of we on it. To teach it a lesson, you sick freak. That's ri that's ridiculous. You sick freak wasn't in there, but that is damn ridiculous. <laughs> your cat is constantly following it around when you're what? bursting for a wee. Like, I hope you do some bad things. I've got a big old throat. <laughs> How does that work? Can you use like wee on demand? I can't. Can that's you? like no. That's that's very close to animal cruelty, I'm sure. Imagine cats that to humans. That cat would be given up for adoption very soon. I think. What, are you trying to? I'm trying to wee on demand. It's that tea. Oh no, it's coming to the other end. This one comes in from Miriam Bunnett. Jay Sugg, a confession, my dear. By the way, we've had another episode where you've been in and they still don't put your name in it. 
Uh, you know what? It's always just to me, isn't it? It's I'm going to change that. Jay Sug and B Ron. Oh. A confession, my dear. <laughs> in primary school, my friend had to get his appendix out and was absolutely terrified. That, was, that would be me. Have you ever had your appendix out? Mm, not that I can think of at the top of my head. Basically, everyone in my family has had theirs out except for me and my sister. Okay, Whenever I get a stomach ache now, I'm always like, well, this is it. He got through the operation and was then sad that he didn't have an appendix anymore. A teacher told him it's a useless organ and all it does is let humans digest grass, which is what I've been told as well. Yeah. So I spent the next week of lunchtime eating grass in front of him and taking the piss that he couldn't eat grass. <laughs> I think we all know who the winner was in this scenario. <laughs> it's a weird friendship. Really brilliant. Yeah. Sally, like, we've got your sandwiches for this week. I've got a bit of, uh, yeah, a bit of uh, pastrami, mustard. Oh, what have you got? I've got Marmite and Chris. What have you got? Still got grass. <laughs> <laughs> so we take a joke too far in it. It's like me and my prank. I would feel sad, I think, at least for a bit if my appendix was taken out. You can keep them in jars, apparently. Oh, okay. I remember Is seeing one boy had it his, his removed. It was like a little. It was like a little pink knickknack. Oh. Do you know what knickknacks are? The crisps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little pink knickknack just floating about in some like pink water. I'll put it in a plant pot and see if I can grow another human out of it. See, that's something I'd be interested in. Another one from someone called Anonymous. Well, that one's just Anon. This is just Anon. Anon. A A Ron. <laughs> this is what Anonymous has to say. I really love the smell of my inside belly button. Now, I don't know about you, but I only have one. I don't have an outside yeah. belly button. Like. It depends on the weather. Us Brits are weird. Yeah, you see. We've got two. But I don't, mine doesn't smell. Hang on. Let me get a good old wipe of that. Don't smell. If anything, it smells like sweets. Well, some people said it's gross and stinks. But hell yeah, mine is alluring. And then instead of going ha 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 or he he he, they've gone hi hi hi. Hi 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 hi. Anonymous, you're crazy. Millie, this one comes from Millie. My confession is a bit of a weird one. I was doing work experience in year 10 in a boring insurance office. I was in a side cupboard using filing stuff using an iPad. All I'd ever known of offices was that they were boring and people photocopy their bums when they're drunk. Which is true. I have, I have seen it in real life. I don't know where my mind went exactly, but I wanted to photocopy my bum. There wasn't a photocopier though, so I opened up the drawer notes thing on the iPad, put it on the floor, took my trousers down and squatted on the screen. Nope, <laughs> didn't work. Thought I'd try again. Just as I was at my lowest point, physically and metaphorically, the boss walked in. Luckily, the business end was pointing away from him, but he was shocked to see someone squatting on his iPad. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't even his that iPad, is, it was the boss's. That, that is ballsy. That, that is, that, that's my favorite confession so far, I think. That's really good. Fair and you know it's current, to. because iPads, yeah. you can't say, oh, it happened when I was younger. Yeah, exactly, that was recent. It's pretty recent. And the, uh, probably the iPad Pros, they're big. Yeah. You, you can probably like lie flat on it, you can plank on it. With the knob all funny out. <laughs> that is mad. <laughs> Have you ever squatted on a piece of technology, Byron? Depends on how tech toilets can be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Japanese toilets. Japanese toilet, I've never been, but that's the only piece of technology I'll be squatting on. That's the equivalent of squatting on a, an iPhone, an iPhone 4 there in the UK. Go. Howdy Joe, call me Brenda, please, so no one knows who I am. Ah, oh, smart. This is actually probably 50 Cent, but he's cha he changed his name yeah. to Brenda. <laughs> I moved primary schools a lot when I was younger, definitely 50 yeah, cents. That's 50. Um, and I was also a compulsive liar, by the way. Yeah. When I arrived at a new school, I told the kids that my dad drove a TVR, which is a type of sports car. I used to love TVRs. I uh, still do. He didn't. He had a Mondeo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we get pictures in the two cars, just, we get, just to put in perspective of this, the level of lying this is. One day, some kids were meant to come over to mine for dinner, and they said, Oh, cool, we'll get to see your dad's TVR. So I immediately panicked and told them my dad died and ran home without them. Oh my god. You took his death awfully well. <laughs> you could have said, oh, you know, got, he's driven it somewhere, I don't know. He could, he's left it as somewhere else, but no, he's dead. From then on, whenever my dad came to me from school, I told them that he was our local vicar who picked me up sometimes because we made friends at my dad's funeral. This is the worst lie ever. What yes! Got? It's what? definitely up there as one of the worst. That's going to snowball into something horrific. Jesus You're Christ. You're going to get in prison for 20 years for something you didn't even commit to. <laughs> <laughs> Anonymous! Your Ooh. third freaking message you sent in today, and this is quite a long one. All right. Okay, so this one time I was on a date with a guy, and we got very, very, very drunk. I was absolutely steaming. So we went back to his flat purely to watch Madagascar. Yeah. Because <laughs> the majority of our nights had consisted of me being ridiculously passionate about how Malman deserved better, but that's a whole other story. Wait, which one's Malman? The Malman is the... Ross giraffe, from Friends. Isn't it? I feel like Malman is the... Melman. Ross. Melman. Uh, Melman. It doesn't matter. I think it's not irrelevant. Probably. <laughs>
Well, yeah, they, they literally said, but that's a whole other story. Oh, okay, thank God. So we sat on the sofa watching Madagascar and getting on fairly well because I realized I needed a, re a wee really bad. As luck would have it, he needed a wee too, and because I didn't say anything, he went himself. It was at this point the alcohol really hit me, and I realized I was so desperate, I literally couldn't hold it in. I couldn't wee myself in a guy's flat, so I had a good thing. I could run out. Is there time for a good thing? I could turn off the lights and just hope he doesn't feel my trousers. No, 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 too weird. So drunk me decided to look for something I could wear. And in the moment, the only thing I could find was a pot plant with a bonsai tree in it. Uh. At least there wasn't a freaking cat. <laughs> <laughs> Does it say that? No. <laughs> that was quick, Byron. Well, you can guess what happened next. The bonsai tree is probably dead now. I thought I was going to say it suddenly started growing like <laughs> Jack's beanstalk. <laughs> Felt too guilty to even see the guy again, so I don't know what happened, what became of the tree. Hope this gave you a little giggle. Love a poor, lonely soul in Bath. The city, not the object. Oh, I probably know her. It's probably my flat. <laughs> it's probably your bonsai. It was probably my. I wonder where a bonsai tree died. <laughs> I'll be sending you the bill next week. Uh, There's been a lot of ways. squatting in this this episode. A lot of, lot of like, wee, a lot of squatting. A lot of squats, a lot wee, of and genitals. And lastly, this one comes in from Sadie. No shame here, and it's quite a quite an intense one. Lost my virginity to a lifeguard on holiday on a sunbed in the cupboard that they're kept in overnight. Almost sure this won't make the cut as it's too explicit, but hey, Sadie, did you get a tan? Gee, I was, the question oh, on everyone's No, mouth. I'm thinking about sand. Like, surely I've never had sex on a beach. I, I, except for the drink. I've never had sex on a beach. But I can't imagine the logistics of it. Sand will surely get everywhere. I've got to go near a beach and I end up with sand in my shoes and everywhere. And I've used up a shower. I'm like, what the bloody hell? Why is it? Yeah. I've got sand in my bum crack. What you know if one I mean? of those freak beached whales just happened to choose your spot for to die? Yeah. And you're going to die. There's going to be a whale on you. What the f you want to <laughs> What if a whale beaches itself upon your two? Oh, and on the, on the cupboard. Oh, no. I thought they were on the beach. No, they're in, they're in the beach, but in the in the lifeguard hut, there's a cupboard where they keep oh, the sun loungers. So they gosh. were on a sun lounger in a, a cupboard that they keep them in, oh, so that people would steal okay. them. I was still on the trail of the beach. Just, <laughs> sand flying everywhere, seagulls <laughs> trying to get in on the action. Whales guts blasting off. Yeah, dolphins in the seas going. <laughs> <laughs> clicking, judging clicking you. at you, they're pointing their fin, judging you, <laughs> saying you're doing it all wrong. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, Byron, as always, it's been pump great. Um, pump it. Pump it. Oh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this episode of reacting to your confessions. Send them in. The email address where you can send yours in is down there. They were really good this week. I love them. Keep them up, guys, and we'll do this more often. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up. Subscribe to myself. Subscribe to Byron. Byron's got some tracks out right now he needs to go and listen to. You go and listen to his music, you dicks. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> See you soon with another video. Cheers. <laughs> Goodbye. Whoa.